Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here. Welcome to completed episode number 78. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a game called Refunct, which is in the early running to become the easiest game of 2017. In the last episode, we took a look at Ghost Recon Wildlands, but if you're new to the series, this is a series where I take a look at a game that I recently completed and got all the gamer score in, and then I tell you about the achievements or trophies, as well as the fun factor. So Refunct, it came out on June 7th, I started it on June 10th, and then finished it on June 17th after taking a week break for E3. In that time span, I played the game for about two hours or less, and I would assume that most people, assuming they're not bound by the skill necessary to complete the game, will be able to complete it in about an hour and a half or less, and you'll be gaining 10 available achievements. Now, the last achievement I ended up getting was called Will You Come Back, which is for finishing Refunct under 33%. However, I'm actually showing gameplay for a much tougher, harder achievement, which is for completing the game in under four minutes. So you have to be pretty good at speedrunning the game, although it comes down to a lot of memorization and not necessarily as much skill as you might think. In this run, I'm able to complete the game in three minutes and 40 seconds, leaving plenty of time for errors. That brings me into the achievement difficulty, which I'm going to give a 3 or maybe a 4 out of 10, because although it does require a little bit of skill, it's not something that isn't attainable by most people. The controls are quite easy and just involve you aiming, walking, jumping, and occasionally crouching, and there's nothing that's too hard here. You'll have to complete the game by covering 100% of the squares, so if you've noticed by watching the gameplay, every time you touch a square it changes color. So you'll have to beat the game with 100% of all the little blocks uh, changed. You'll have to get all 16 of the collectibles, which are honestly quite easy if you're looking for them. And then you'll have to speedrun the game in under 8 minutes, speedrun the game in under 4 minutes, and then complete the game having less than 33% of the tiles change color, which also isn't too bad. But there is a little bit of skill there, which is why I've decided on that 4 out of 10 that I mentioned earlier. Now, last but not least, we have the fun factor. And before I get into the fun factor, there is a very important note that I want to make, and that is that this game is only $3. On top of that, when it first came out during the first week of launch, it was half price, which means this game cost $1.50. So I'm going to make sure to keep that in mind when I'm judging this game. So if you've been watching along with the gameplay on screen, you pretty much already understand the core concept of Refunct. It is a first person platforming game where you just have to knock the switches in the right order and then complete the level. There is only one level and you have to do all of the buttons in the right sequence. You can't kind of cheat your way through the map to make it faster. As you press a certain button, you know, the next button will appear and so on and so forth. It's a pretty simple game loop, but it actually handles quite well. There's actually an FOV slider in this game, which is something that most AAA titles on console don't have, which is amazing. And for the most part, it feels quite solid and you get exactly the feeling that you want out of the controls. It is a good experience considering the fact that it only costs a couple of bucks. And for that reason, I'm giving it a fun factor of 7 out of 10. And I would highly recommend this game, not only for gamer score, but if you're looking to kill about an hour or two, just with something new, refreshing, and fun. It is a decent game in that aspect. And there you have it, guys. You might have been using the video as a guide, and that is the level completed in 3 minutes and 40 seconds. If you were watching the video for the completed episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll just quickly scroll through my achievements here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to drop a like, share with a friend. Special thanks to Drop Dead Artemis and Darth Dave 89 for supporting the show on Patreon. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.